Hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, in this one, it's going to be sort of like a follow-up to one that I started previously. I bought this Nexstar external hard drive slash solid state enclosure. I need this for a device that I have that only has eSATA as its connectivity to an external hard drive. This one has both, though. It has the eSATA and it has USB 3.0, so it covers both types of connectivity and likely at two totally different speeds but I'll find out here in this video. I have a hard drive here the exact one that I'll be putting into this enclosure a 3 terabyte 7200 RPM um, full 6 gigabit per second transfer rate hard drive. It's a used drive I've had it in another piece of equipment for a while and now I've pulled it out and I'm going to redeploy it. I also have a solid state drive 480 gigabyte and I'm going to put this in as well. I'm going to do a comparison between the two. So it'll be done really with fourfold. I'll test this device out with both the USB 3.0 and also the eSATA connectivity. And I'll do it with both of these drives, the hard drive and the solid state drive. And we'll see how it all pans out. And I'll show the results at the end of this video in terms of exactly you know, what's covered. So stick around to the end and see what those results are so you can see whether or not there's really a benefit or not. I'm anticipating that the eSATA will be faster than the USB 3.0, but you never know until you try it. Now this particular one, like I said, I purchased it. I haven't used it yet. Let me show you what's in here. Quick little installation guide. The drive itself. It's got a nice metal enclosure. It looks like it's open already. So it just sort of slides open. There's probably some hardware in here to secure it because there's two screw holes. It looks like one here and one on the other side where you could probably screw it and lock it down. And then on the back side, I see a, a USB 3.0. By the way, that's a uh, USB B connector. So you rarely see those. I, my recent video about USBs, I did talk about that. Supposedly in here, we have a lot of different things given as part of this. Looks like here's a power adapter for it. So it connects up and has, uh, I'll have to see what the voltage is on this. Doesn't matter at this moment. It looks like it has an adapter for, this one is a US plug. So I guess it has sort of a universal attachment here. So you can do international as well. But obviously I got the US model. Then inside the box, Oh, it looks like it's got a little stand to it to stand it up. Not sure exactly how I'll be using it, but this is very possible that this is the way it'll go. There's no fan in this, so obviously cooling might be an issue if I put it in a restrictive airflow area, but we'll see how that goes. And then it's got some hardware, the screws that I talked about, and probably screws to also secure the drive inside of it. I didn't look at them in detail yet, but I see small black screws and a couple of regular brass screws, and then two cables. Here's the USB Type B 3.0, and it goes to a Type A at the other end, USB 3.0 as well. And then it has eSATA. eSATA has been pretty standard for quite a few years, so there's not much difference here. I have the adapter that uh, I put onto my spare testing PC that allows me to connect up an eSATA cable to it. So we'll try that out for the first time and see how that works. I think I did show the installation of that pretty straightforward in a previous video. So with that, let me go ahead and get this together and see how it all pans out. When testing the hard disk between using a USB or an eSATA connection, there was virtually no difference in the performance of the drives. However, when checking the solid state drive between a USB and an eSATA, there was a significant difference between the two, as you can see from this chart above.